Who? <laughs> my, 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 my Mel. All right. Well, we're just about to the bottom of the hour, but we can get to one or two questions. And I do have lots of them today. And if you have any you'd like to send today, just send them to discount gold and silver at yahoo.com. And this is in from Peter. There seems to be a lot of ads from these cash for gold companies in the past year. We didn't see as many of these in the past. Are these ads are they coming out specifically at this time because the people who run these companies know what is going to happen or are gearing up for the gold explosion in price? I think that's the case, but also yeah. <laughs> they realize as well that people are hard up for money, and they're only giving them 30 cents on the dollar, and they, they have a lot of protection. And the people who are sellers, most of all, most of them are, are hard up. Also, I received an email from uh, one of my clients, and he says uh, in the area that he was at, they found out there was they were actually scamming the people, and they were actually shut down. So, folks, you got to be careful, you know, where you send your gold to, how you do this. I mean, I... You know, if you have anything you want to unload, you know, I, you know, might know of someone that you can send your things to and so forth. And if you're looking to sell your gold coins, you just sell them back to me. So, you know, be careful because there's a lot of scams out there. And I'm not saying they're all scams, but the information that was sent to me by my client, uh, there was certainly one that was shut down uh, because they were only paying pennies on the dollar and it was taking months for the people to get their money. And um, so just be careful. Sounds like some of the coin dealers. Yeah, really. And uh, yeah, You know, you can expect six weeks or less, but when somebody doesn't get their coins in three or four months, you get a problem. No, Bob, even six weeks. There's no reason people can't get their coins in less than four weeks. Absolutely no. There's no reason people can't get their coins in three weeks. Absolutely not. I mean, they're just holding on to people's money. I mean, how fast do banks clear checks anymore overnight? And if you bank wire the funds, there's no reason it should take a month for people to get their product. Now, if they go in and they buy special coins and they know up front, you know, if they're looking for a special date or if they're looking for a special collection or, you know, if it's a special circumstance, um, but, I mean, if it's uh, usually most orders and there's always that, uh, you know, fly in the ointment that, you know, things go wrong and things get sidetracked. But uh, for the most part, you know, people should be delivered. Uh, it shouldn't be, you know, more than four, five, six weeks for delivery. I mean, too much is going on and anything can happen at any point in time. And uh, so I think urgency in getting these products, I certainly wouldn't want my hard-earned dollars out there tied up someplace for six, seven, eight, twelve weeks. But it amazes me, but that's the majority of the uh, shipping deliveries out there. So 800-375-4188. That's 1-800-375-4188. And uh, if you have any questions, you can email them to Discount Gold and Silver at yahoo.com discount gold and silver at yahoo.com and also there's a question you know a lot of comments about these you know pools that you supposedly buy gold and they hold it in their possession folks you don't let anybody hold your gold i don't care what kind of bargain you think that you're getting i mean, I mean do you agree bob i agree the only exception is retirement accounts I mean, it's just like, what, you, you mean the iris? Yeah. And there's the break, and we'll talk about those in just a few moments. Most of them are illiterate. Yeah, I know it. Good afternoon. You're listening to Financial Survival, sponsored by Discount Gold and Silver. For all your gold and silver coin needs, give us a call at 800-375-4188. That's 1-800-375-4188. And for your complimentary issue... You can also use our 800 number. And, Bob, would you like to tell us about the international forecaster, please? Uh, the forecast is about business, finance, economic, social, political issues all over the world. We publish Wednesday and Saturday via email, and it runs around 35 pages each time, and we have a hard copy that goes out twice a month for those who are not on the Internet. You can go to our site and take a look, and that address is the International. Forecaster.com, the 
international, F-O-R-E-C-A-S-T-E-R dot com. If you have a question, you can email us, and that address is B-O-B at I-N-T F-O-R-E C-A-S-T-E-R dot com. Bob at Int Forecaster dot com. 800-375-4188. That's 1-800-375-4188 for your complimentary issue. And, of course, your gold and silver coin. Give us a call at 800-375-4188. Visit our website at discountgoldandsilvertrading.net. And the email is discountgoldandsilver at yahoo.com. And, well, uh, I just got in the uh, the prices, and they're even better than I thought. Um Agnico is down 2.03%, uh, Gold Corp 2.41%, uh, Mine Find is 4.94%, and uh, Silver Standard 2.40%. And for gold, uh, being off uh, as much as it was today, uh, that's a, a very big uh, plus. Uh, they could have been off a lot more. Yeah, well, they were about the same percentage-wise, though, weren't they, both the, the gold shares and the Yeah, with gold. the exception of the lower-priced uh, mine finders was off $0.37 cents to seven twelve, and that's to be expected. Uh, there's only 60 million shares outstanding. It's a lower-priced stock. It's very heavily traded. Trade is, trades four or 500,000 shares a day, and um, and so that's to be expected. Um, is TARP cash and bailout a Trojan horse for Obama to control the banks and other corporations, such as car makers? They do get upset when some of the institutions want to return the government's money. Because well, they... yeah, because they don't want the control. Uh, because uh, in behalf of the Illuminists, uh, Mr. Um, Mr. Uh, what's his name? Which one? The other, the other name that Obama has, Satoro. Barry Satoro is what he used to be called. But then again, we don't even know if he's an American citizen. But anyway, um, Geithner is doing what the elitists want him to do, and that is to do with corporate America as they see fit. And when you go and you fire the CEO of one of the largest firms in the world, and the whole the whole board of directors, um, there's nothing in in the Constitution <coughs> that gives the president or the secretary of the treasury the right to do such a thing. George Soros is rumored to be going against the dollar in the currency market. Uh, what would a, what effect would that have on gold prices, and how much of our inflation how much our inflation rate would be if Soros does it? Well, uh, it's hard to tell what the inflation rate, the, the real one, would be, um, but I, I'm sure that. The rumors are correct. He probably is short the dollar. He's very good at currency trading. He just got fined uh, for criminally uh, rigging the stock market in either Hungary or Romania. Uh, that's the second time he's got caught doing that. Uh, he did in France, and he was convicted and fined of a criminal offense. And he appealed it. And they said, forget it. So the guy is a criminal. So always keep that in mind. And, of course, he's a top member of the Illuminati. And uh, so that makes it okay. You notice he doesn't go to jail. He keeps his billions. He does what he wants. He pays a fine, which is chump chains to him. And uh, that's the way our world works, ladies and gentlemen. Um, 
During the probable week of bank and market closures in the future, the government will likely do an instant revaluation, devaluation of the U.S. dollar and revaluation of gold like President Roosevelt did in 33. In addition to physical metal holdings, what is the safest way to ride out the storm to protect personal wealth during this transition? All you can do is uh, keep them in your safe at home or bury them and don't turn them in. It's as simple as that. I mean, more often than not, they don't know what you've got. But I don't think that you're ever going to see a individual confiscation of gold. It's too difficult. And, you know, 